water and which one is made in Ghana? The two of them is made in Ghana. The two of them is made in Ghana? Yeah, yeah. By who? By this one, I don't know. Then. This one, I don't know? Yeah. What about this one? By this one, I know it's Casapreco. This is Alombo Bites. Alombo Bites. And it's made by Casapreco. Casapreco, yeah. This is also uh, Awake. Awake. Made by Casapreco. Casapreco. Okay. Dr. Kovena Ajay. Am I mentioning the name right? Here, yeah. it's called Ebusiapenyi Kovena Ajay. Ebusiapenyi Kovena Ajay. Sure, yes. Have you heard this phrase before? Africans. Because the world is saying that it's not possible to make it in Africa as an African. So they call us Africans. Africans. But I think your story represents an African. Oh, well, um, I'm being a bit, you know, a bit, I can't do everything, but I mean, I, you know that I, I, at my age, I've done something and uh, at, at this point, I think I've, I've satisfied with what I've done. You know, I've not done much. I, I wish I had done more, but what I've been able to achieve, I'm, I'm happy with it. When you hear the name Africa, what comes into your mind? Africa can do it. Africa can do it, but it only takes individuals to do it. Uh, uh, uh. Africa can do it. You see, I cannot say Africa. Africans, we are doomed forever. You know, yeah. See, uh, if they, uh, the old people didn't do it, the youth, it's about a can attitude. For me, that's how I believe it. So Africa can do it. You can rise up, you know, yeah, because it's in targets. They weren't born rich. You go to Malaysia and other things. They just started like us, but only that we are a bit sort of crawling. Why you can you can do it? Why are you calling? I mean, it's attitude. So if you change your attitude, you, you, can, you can do it. The youth, the youth, you know, you can, that, if you get that, I can do spirit. Yeah. Uh -huh. it, it can be done. If the if the the Arabs are planting food on the Sahara, why can't we do it? We can do it. So it's about the attitude. If you really want to do it, you can do it. Will you will you agree with Kwame Nkrumah that a black man is capable of managing his own affairs? Absolutely. Absolutely, because Kwame Nkrumah was doing it before uh, his program was cut short. You know, the way he was building factories. Kwame Nkrumah started everything well, 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 but probably, I don't know, I don't do politics, right? But I, I believe uh, he was on the right path. Probably, he said he was a dictator. I was young then, I was also at the, at the village here, so I didn't know much about Kwame Nkrumah, but what I've read about him, you know, I, I I think if Kwame was to be there, or to be there uh, uh, till, well, say, the next 20, 20, 20, 20 25 uh, years, mm -hmm. Ghana would have been, have been where we are now. But I thought he was a visionary leader. I believe Af Africa can rise up again. You believe that Africa can rise up again, which means that you think industries can help build Africa's economy? Yes, industries and uh, farming, I agree. These two things, because uh, Industry, you have industry, you employ five people, ten people, I have a bit industry, five people, ten people, then that, I, I, you mop up the excess labor on, on the streets. So industry is the key. Agric is a key. But buy and sell, I'm afraid, will not help us. If you are buying something from China, mm. you are empowering the China manufacturer. Right? Yeah. So why are you not processing our, our local cocoa? Uh, why, why do you send the our, our our cocoa robot, fresh, I mean, um, in, the, in the raw form. Why don't we process it? The timber that we, we, we shipped to the whites. See, when the, when the colonial masters came here, mm. they taught us to ship the cocoa to them, the raw form. They taught us to ship the timber to them in the raw form. And from that time to this time, we are sold cocaine, the same thing, you know, if you, if you don't put value on our raw materials, you know, and then just ship to them, you go and process it and you go and uh, import it, you know, send, spend dollars to go and... So definitely the economy will be weak. So I, I believe Ghana, if you, uh, our economy is imported oriented, instead of export oriented, mm. I don't think it's very good for us. 
My name is Wadamaya, the one and only annoying village boy from Ghana who is on a journey to change the narrative. And I'm on a journey to celebrate Africans that are doing extraordinary things that no one is talking about them. And you are the man that is doing extraordinary in Ghana that I feel like no one is celebrating. I don't need to be celebrated. Why you don't need to be celebrated? I, I, I don't think I deserve to be celebrated. A village boy from the village. I don't, I don't need to be celebrated. I'm so, so. so since he's a village boy, uh, you're not a village boy. <laughs> you're a village uncle, man. <laughs> you, you know, you, you, a, a village boy coming back to my roots. Hmm. You know, yeah, that, that's it. Yes. So I, I enjoying my retirement quietly yeah. in the village. So. so you're just trying to say you're an ordinary man. Uh, sure, yeah. But I just want to tell you that you've done something extraordinary. Okay, okay. Okay. To you, fine, but let, let, let's move on. <laughs> let's move on. <laughs> you are the founder of the leading uh, beverage uh, manufacturing uh, plant in Ghana. In terms of um, local, like um, indigenous, indigenous, indigenous that, person. That, 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 that one you accept, eh? I accept that, yes. I, accept I, ha that. I had to make sure that you accept that one. I accept that one. Yeah. Yes. How does that make you feel? I feel good. I feel, I feel good. You know, when, when you succeed in something, it's, it's a feeling. I feel good. When you go to school and you pass, mm. I expect you pass with excellence. You know, you, 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 you become proud. If you are a farmer, and then you, at the end of the year, become the best farmer, you, you mm. feel proud for the work that we are doing. I don't know you from Adam, but I believe People are talking about you, mm. so I believe you're also proud of yourself. So I, I'm proud of what I, what I have achieved with my background. Your brand name is Casa Precum. Yes. What is the origination of the name Casa Precum? Casa Precum. Um, is the name of Wasabi Fee traditional area, the Paramount Chief, hmm. you know, so I christened my company, you know, after him, because he was my godfather, you know, um, I wanted to portray the name. Wasa Amenfi, to me, in the olden days, it wasn't well known, you know, but for me, because I'm a traditionalist, I came to him one day, I told him, Nana, I want to use your name. Hmm. I told him, yes, I went to the palace, Wasa Kropon, and officially asked him that, Nana, I had to use your name um, for my company. And I said, okay, Manana, I'll give it to you. I only protect it. That's what he told me. Only protect it. That's it. But, but I think the name Casa Perco in English... But literally uh -huh. means straight to the point. And you are straight to the point. Okay, fine. Yes, yes. I'm not straight, straight to the point. I'm, yeah. I'm a straight shooter. <laughs> I'm a straight shooter. Yes. A straight yes. shooter. Yes. So yes. I just want to know, as a straight shooter, how did it all start? As from Casa Preco from scratch, how did it start? Casa Preco started in 1989 with five workers, only five workers. Because I was then living at Nuga and um, I thought I saw some good cars, uh, store buildings. And uh, I asked, who is this owner of this car? Who is this owner of this burden? They said, NCP and this and that's okay. Oh, okay. What did they do? Say, they, they are all into alcohol manufacturing. Okay, so okay. As a business, as, as a business oriented person, it's okay. Why don't I try my hand on it, it and see whether it will work? Mm. So that's what I, I gathered my pots, you know, got some firewood. So that's what I think most of them were doing. You know, a cruel way of doing things. So I just started it with uh, five workers, uh, buying used bottles and boiling the uh, stubborn bottles, because I, I could not afford the brown new bottles, washing it with the, uh, these uh, brushes, yeah, with five workers. So for the first, I think for the first uh, three years, four years, that's what we are doing. So we are putting the firewood, the old, well, from the village, the yeah. traditional way of cooking yeah. with firewood, yes. So that's how it started. And we did that for some time. 
and then the later on we started using soda stove, right? Yeah. Yeah, soda stove. Because that now the smoke will now be eradicated. Because if I would we'll bring a lot of smoke, smoke. to our eyes. Okay. You know, it is our eyes. So okay. we bought a soda stove. You know, and then I clap myself, oh you you done well. So we are doing that and then later on we move on to gas, big gas cookers for funerals, mm. which means now no more um, smoke at all. So that's yeah. how the whole thing started. But I started very, 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 very humble beginning. If I didn't know that you will reach, you come to, you attain you this, this stage. No, no, no. But the thing who did the trick was this. When I started the manufacturing, mm. I became friends with most of the Nungwa manufacturers. We were about 56 small, 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 uh, um, I mean, backyard. But I also doing it in my, in my garage. I started my, my in my garage. So when I go to any of these friends, I ask, what are you using? They told me they were using a flavor called Dopworth. I remember very well, Dopworth flavor. I go to another person, what flavor are you using? He said, Duckworth. So I also started using Duckworth, you know, and the same alcohol from the same source. So uh, I think to myself, ah, if about 40, 40 manufacturers, you're all using Duckworth, the taste will be the same. Yeah. The alcohol will be the same. So then, what would make you creative, you know? So I thought that one will not help me. And being a creative person, I said, okay. I will make a research and see if I, will, I can change the, the narrative a bit. So I travel to UK mm. and make a research and I found out that you can use other flavors, you know, instead of that dog food. In fact, I went to see that dog food man myself. I, I went to him myself, mm. you know, yes. But I said, okay, we cannot all use one, one flavor. I wanted to be a bit different from uh, hot was on the, and hot prevailing. I think that, that made a trick. So I brought in a different flavor and added it to my. I didn't go away with the dog food, but I just bought about three flavors, you know. And then from there, I think my product became distinctive from the, from the others. Uh -huh. I went out and came. And the, the workers told me that they've sold 25 cartons. I said, ah, you sold 25 cartons today? <laughs> I said, yes, you sold 25, okay, we bought 25 cartons. Because you could, the bell could squeeze five cartons, three cartons, four cartons. At times you send it to them, they say you don't like it. I, 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 I was using the, 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 the watchman, the producer manager, the sales manager myself. So at times I put the drinks to the bus, yeah. free of charge, a sampling. I go and say, they said they don't like it. We can be a bit, a bit demotivated. But when they told me, I thought I changed that thing and they told me they, they, they sold. sold 25 cartons, I said, oh, wow. Which means that there is a light at the end of the tunnel. So yeah. So I kept that as a secret. I remember one, one of the time, a colleague of mine who's also a manufacturer came to me and said, what? flavors am I using? I'm so I'm using Dr. Wolf. I said, the reason, why, the reason why he was asking me that question was that he was at the, in a bar and there was a certain man, a certain young uh, boy came to the bar and asked that he wanted to buy a of dry gin. Hmm. And the father said, uh, if he doesn't get a of dry gin, he should buy a So the man said, why is it that the, that, that people are pinpointing uh, <laughs> dry gin? So, okay, which means that would do the trick. So, you know, I, I started doing a bit of advertisement, you know, and trying to maintain the quality. What I wanted to do was that, once I saw that my products were a bit distinctive mm. from the others, mm. yeah, that's where I said, I'm going to build a brand, you see, build a brand. Even my friends told me that, why are you saying your brand is Casa Preco? It's too local, you know, yeah. Because most of the, the, the local manufacturers were using Prince Charles, St. Albans, Heritage, those white names, you know. 
but I said no. Mutsubuchi is a brand from overseas. It's a, it's a other uh, Japanese name yeah. or something that they didn't know. That, so I said, okay, I will use, I will maintain the Kasako brand. Once it become popular, that will be distinctive from um, part of the taste. The names too also should be distinctive. So I, I but my my focus was to build a brand. A new brand can be built, but it takes a lot of time before you can build a brand. That's how I started. Mr. Richard, there's one thing that I want to know, yeah? If you go to every company, there's one product that stands out. I really want to find out, here at Casapreco, what is that special product that made the company where it is today? Okay, so for Casapreco, Alomo mm -hmm. is what has made the company what it is today. Alomo Vitesse? Yes, the popular Alomo Vitesse. Oh, <laughs> Alomo Vitesse is made by Casapreco? Yes, it's made by Casapreco and it's produced right here in this factory, which I'm going to show you. What, what, what kind of gin got the breakthrough for you? Oh, I mean, they were buying the gin. The, 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 the Sure, yeah, the, the dry gin, they, they were buying it a lot. They were buying it because of the, of the, of the, um, the taste. Because it was distinctive from the, the others. So they were buying it. Not that they were, they were, at the point, that's why we changed from the firewood to sawdust to gas. Yes. Yeah, from the 25, they were buying. They were buying. And then, what actually changed the relative completely was when I decided to bring in the, the bitters. You transition from Casapreco dry gin to? To Alomo bitters. Alomo bitters. Uh -huh. And Alomo bitters is the one which is worldwide right now. Exactly, yes, yeah, worldwide right. Because, because it's also, because it's a, it's a functional product. You know, it's a functional product. Because uh, Alomo bitters uh, have about, about seven plants, you know, seven plants into the, the bitters. But the, the secret was that when I came to the industry, the manufacturing industry, um, and we were doing the gin and the, 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 the snails and those things that everybody was doing, I asked myself that, what can I also bring to the industry? You know, what, what creativity, what invention I could bring Drink. on board? So I dreamed myself that there's something called Peters. I've heard it called Peters, but it's bitters. And this bitters, our forefathers used to chop the roots, put it in the bottle, I put the alcohol on it, consume it. When it's finished, they add another alcohol on it, consume it. You know, when they finish, they add another one yeah. till the, 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 um, the liquid becomes pale. Yeah, and then they will, they will take off the the the, 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 the herbs, you know, or the chopped roots, and put another one. You know, if I said, because if you put alcohol on herbs in the bottle, you keep it a day or two, it will be very concentrated. Yeah. But after the first after the first shot, after you drink the first liquid, and you add another liquid to the same uh, herbs, taste. you don't get the same taste. taste. You won't get the same concentration, right? which means you won't get the same efficacy. Yeah. So I said, okay, what can I do to make sure that if you are producing bitters, you should have the same constituents. If it's medicinal property, it should be the same constituents, it should be the same taste, the same color, the, the same efficacy. I asked myself this question. And then, okay, once I said, okay, that's what I wanted to do. But how do we do it? I'm a scientist. So I thought that I should come to my village, both name here, because there are so many tablets here. Yeah. I'm also from a village person, so we are using trees to cure ourselves because that time no no herbs here. Yeah. So definitely if you have malaria, you, you, you use um, the herbs. If you break your legs, you use the herbs. If you have headache, you break you, you use the herbs. So it's okay. Should I go here, put Nyama to go and get the herbs and come and use this formulation? But a best sound to my ears that no. If you go to Bodh Nyama, you can get the herbs. Mm. But the procedure might not be the best. Uh, so, because herbs to, uh, we have the good herbs and the bad herbs. Some herbs are very poisonous. So that, that scared me from coming here because if somebody gives me the wrong one, I kill right. people. Yeah. You know? So the idea came to me that I should go to the center. No, I, I first went to Dr. Detutu. 
food a substitute and told him my dream. But he told me they can't do it. So I went to the center for research, to, center to research for scientific medicine. Yeah. They told me also that um, they don't do commercial um, business because it's a government institution. I came back disappointed, but I didn't accept it. Because I went there about four times. I sent them, please, if, if you cannot give me the, the, the formulation, yeah. then supply me all what I will use. So that's why I asked me that, uh, okay, what do you want to, to do? do? I told them that, um, one, I want to bring bitters that uh, not to treat, but that can uh, help with pals, you know, management of pals, uh, menstrual cramps, uh, body pains, blood circulation, um, and also manpower like Viagra, right? Yes, uh, that one, because our, our, our forefathers, they were, they were using, using that. Mm. You see, that the, the, the thing behind that one is that, you know, when we have our chiefs, our chiefs, they used to marry three or four or five. And then when they carry them, the parent queen, yeah. you know, they, 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 they tend to, choose, to, to be choosing some things, you know. So if you are doing celebration, that's what I heard, you know, I'm here to um, entertain that. And you're doing celebration, and the chief have three wives, you go to, only we have one wife and we are tired, the other person will be jealous. So you have to pump yourself. That's why they be, they be chewing uh, this, 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 this sort of things. Yes. But I wanted ours to be very authentic. That's why I want to center for scientific research to plant medicine to give me the formulation. So they agreed to do it for me. Hmm. So I funded them. I gave them money to do the research. So they ordered the Abinian rats. According to, according to them, the, the local ones, you know, uh, the immune system was so strong, yeah. they give them the job and they're moving. You know, so they had to import the Avenian right, which is unsustainable. But those ones are, they are groomed. Uh, so it took about, about one year for them to do their research for me and give me the formulation. In fact, they were supplying us with the concentrates. They told me, you, you, you told me uh, uh, blood circulation, my, my blood circulation, menstrual cramps, um, manpower, and all these ones. So, uh, Master, if you are attacked by, by, by malaria, you go down. Malaria is very, very yeah. uh, serious. Thing. So let's add anti-malaria drug, drug um, uh, uh, helps it. Yeah. That's the only thing that they suggested. Okay, why not? You can add. So All in the bitters. All in the bitters, yeah. So while the center gave me the formulation, I came and then started working on the, on the bitters. Yes. Uh -huh. And also took me some time for people to know what I was doing or to accept it. Mm. That time we were selling the jeans and the slams. So I told some of the salesmen that you are for only aluminum bitters because they, were only, they were only go for the fast selling ones, the jeans. Yeah. This is, it was a new product. Nobody knew about it. So they will not sell. You give it to them, so they bring it back. Yeah. So you, you, you are for only aluminum One day, about three months later, I went out again. I came, I came to the office. I saw people, multitude of people. But I thought that there had been an accident. <laughs> no, but, but yes. So what is going on? What is going on here? Has anything happened here? So no, no, no. They, they want to buy aluminum bitters. Oh my goodness! Uh -huh. So then we had started talking. We had started talking. You know, a lady, a lady who was selling some told me that he was selling alone with us, and the man when they come say, "Give me one shot." They take and they, they, they dodge. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, so then people, uh, if you are, if you are selling the fashionable products, yeah. you know, you take it to work for you, right? Not only the the, 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 the not only for for the um, manpower aspect, you know. But also for, for the for the body 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 pains, you know, menstrual clams. I went to uh, I went to the same I went to a funeral, and a certain woman was hiding a little bit as you know, cream butter inside the cloth. Why why are you hiding the the, the water? I said, oh, the the, the the other people are wearing hair. Give me give me a thought. Because when you also took it, there was a lot of this uh, things coming out of the eye, the, the eyes. You know, so 
uh, he doesn't want to uh, share it. So that's why I saw that, oh, this thing was working. But what is that? When I saw that, the other, other competitors were using ordinary water, right? I brought in filtration system, you know, so, so it's a long filtration system on the wall. Uh, we had to make our own custom made curtains, right? Uh, curtains. So I thought, if you look at the <coughs> imported product, they all come in uniform curtains. Mm. They all come in uniform bottles. You know, so how do we compete? You know, how do we move from that low level to a bit Big, uh, higher, higher level? level? That's why I decided to go into that. But when I started using the bottles and the other people wanted to use my water, I said no. But um, they didn't, they didn't I actually fought me. They didn't, sorry, they didn't fight me, but uh, they stopped. After some, uh, after some resistance, they stopped. They stopped using the my bottles. Okay. Uh -huh. And then sell my product. Our product was like the, like the top of the town. So they saw that if they don't copy it, it would mean they will be out of business. So most of them also uh, started using their own bottles Bottle. and their, their own curtains. But even then, even then, um, most of them where well, couldn't, couldn't stand the competition. The company started mm. you know, from that low level to, to where it is right now. Right but for me, I, I want to ask, as a local manufacturer, knowing that money is not easy to come by in here, where did you get the money to start initially? Initially, we are all doing actually five patterns. Five you don't need patterns. money to do five patterns business. But one thing that helped me was my credibility. Okay. You know, so when I when I wanted to get, uh, let's say, product alcohol or cartons on credit, because people knew I would pay, they were bringing it. That's why I said that good name is better than riches. It helped me a lot. I still helping me. Sell, I'm living on my name. In the USA, uh, you get good, good credit. Yeah. And good credit, they can give you money and you pay. You know? mm. So it's the same thing. Um, because of the way I live, even my own competitors. But see, I did that, surprisingly, I did that alcohol, 10 drums. Before I travel and come there, they put 10 drums there. You know? So they know by all means. And my product sells fast. And when, when they sell, like what we are doing, I will not use the money going to do anything else because I know that I owe you I'm going to give it to you you know and that helped me a lot I, I'm still maintaining that one if I owe you I pay if I owe you I make sure that I get money I pay so because you have a very fast uh, consuming pro product you know and then people will give you money to so sell fast and pay, pay him okay. uh -huh. so when even when their businesses were not growing up they tend to give me they were, in fact they were, they were breaking up zoom 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 uh, zoom but bring alcohol to sell, you know. And you know that if I, if I give it to me and I, I, will, I will pay, he was not more interested in manufacturing rather. He would be put under the buy and then, uh -huh. So most of the great people were there bringing the alcohol and selling it to me. But I remember I had to go to ADB to go and take a loan. But I went to Barclays Bank. I was refused the, 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 the credit. Mm -hmm. I went to Commercial Bank, the same thing. So that is where I did a course with Empretec. It was um, organized by American government also. So it was a very intensive course. They advised us that if you have um, a local entrepreneur, I want to go to a big shot, they will not bother you, they won't mind you. You are a small drop in the big ocean. You know, so go to local banks you know, who are close to you. So from there, I was at Nungwa, so I went to uh, Tishi to go and seek the, for, for, for loan. Yeah. And even there, they were tossing, because they were tossing me up and down. Fortunately for me, I was there when one day the, 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 the MD came to the, the city house, yeah. came to the branch. 
and then he asked me uh, what's my problem there so your yeah, yeah, boys your yeah, guys i wanted to loan they said they will give it to me but up and down go and come go and come so they, they make, make me upset mm. then he told me okay uh, who are you so I, I i introduced myself to him he said okay you come and visit my facility if i if i say i'm making a call and see how best can assist me the md of adb called dr Kranche. dr Kranche. so the next few days I didn't even take it serious. Before I, I could see, he was in my office. My office was like half of this place. You know, yeah. He came there, and then within about a week or two, mm. uh, he gave me the, the, the facility. You know, and so he became our friend, actually. Since then, he became our friend, and then when he was a politician. Mm. Uh, so when I think that his government was uh, out, of power. out of power, and I saw him go to farm, you know, with a small car, I said, Doctor, I would like to work with me. I said, okay, see so if I give an opportunity, you come, come and work with me. So then I employed him as a MD. Wow. Yes. Because, I mean, he was MD of ADB. Yeah. He was MD of ADB. Come on, yeah. what about yeah. my, 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 my facility? Yeah, yeah, so he was with me till he died. Ooh. Yes, he was with me, become the MD, very selfless person. I have not seen anybody like that before. Since they gave me a loan, we became friends, right? And when he came to, so I also gave me a house. One day I said, Doctor, let's go. Uh, let's, I'll, I'll show you something. Mm -hmm. I did tell him. So when I went, I said, take this key, open this house. I opened it. I said, okay, this house is for you. Just like that? Just like that. Because he, he helped me. You know, he helped me. I mean, that man never did anything that he wasn't a businessman. Yeah. It's a technocrat, right? Yeah. Uh, but he had the he had the, um, the dignity. He would not do the typical things that uh, he would connive. Yeah. He worked with the heart. You know. So he worked with me uh, till he died and I buried him. You know, yeah. so, the company was growing. The company grew around him. He being an um, MD of ADB, the whole AD, the whole country, ADB. Right, and then become a, a, a MD well, in Casablanca. You know, because he was advising me. You know, I took him as my other uh, brother. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So sometimes, have our issues, you come to my house, and you sort it out, and he go to work. Selfless person. Well, you know, what, so, what is the um, secret behind the success or the growth of Casablanca? You know, the, the, whole thing, the whole thing is about um, the flair to succeed. The flair to succeed. You get, get the ambition you know, to make it. Yeah. That ambition that, yes, I can. That, I tell the person that uh, if you're a champion, you should be able to take points, right? Yeah. So you fall. But as a businessman, you have your up and down. How many times right? did you fall? Oh, I, 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 a lot. Because even that time, you were talking about the same dollar CD uh, fluctuation, right? But one thing was that for me, fortunately, because the brand was powerful, right? The brand was powerful. Uh, the demand and supply. You know, the demand was always more than the supply. Just like I wake right now, I wake that we, yeah. we are drinking. Yeah. People call me, you know, you want to wake, you can't get it. Come work. So definitely uh, in that area, why poor communities were collapsing, my was going up because of the quality. You know, the quality, not only the uh, aloe bitters, right, but also the gin and other brands. Mm -hmm. Because I made sure that I always um, invest in the business. You know, so my, my profit that I get I will not come and build such a house, no. I reinvest the profit in the business. So I will always buy in good equipment, good equipment, expanding it, expanding it, expanding it. And when people say that you have a good brand, you know, that, that's it. It's about brand. If, you, if, you are, if I'm giving you right now, if I'm giving you Benz, brand new Benz, and brand new Toyota, which one will you take? Who say I will take Benz? Why? Well, the name is there. So in business for me, talk about quality, quality, quality. Uh, that, that, that is it. <laughs> what was the major challenge that you faced when you started this business? Money. Money, cash, you know. There was no cash flow. No cash flow. Because, I mean, just like, you know, the people are buying, they want to buy, but you don't have money. You have to go to um, take a loan from the bank. What was so the percentage that time? It was high. It was high, but it could be over 30 percent. That time, it was about 30, 35 to 40 percent. That time, yes. Yeah. But if you take a loan, and then you are paying 40 percent uh, interest, 
and you miss 16 percent on your net returns you, you you cash in 20 percent right yeah so in, but as a matter of fact there were time that there was too much pressure on the product had to increase the price twice in a month Whoa. the demand was too much you know i thought too much pressure so let's increase it so to, to reduce the uh, the demand i increase it sell people were buying you know so um i the the the, 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 the interest was not too much of a bother to me so mm. i took the, i took the loan and produce and pay off you know because i know the money is there money is coming mm. so the best thing is to grow uh, you call it a tipping product yeah. i've been telling my children always try to make a tipping product that's why they come our store we discuss it you know let people create for your product you know, why they are demanding it you know they don't even care about the pricing too much about the pricing uh -huh, yeah. you started from your house my house what was the first ever factory that you built apart from your house? No, um, for even from my house, I kept, you know, demolishing. Demolishing. Because it was growing. My house, my own house, my garage. You know. So I even pulled down my own building. My own building, you know, made a base as a factory. And I, I moved up. You know how yeah. Later on. I moved from there and used the uh, uh, booth up and down as a factory. And because the, the land was big, the land was big, bus quarters, I, I made all the factory. And we are actually um, loading on the streets. Yeah, my name is William Akunu Atta. I'm the senior manager of research and development for Herbal Farms and Research Limited. This is the first out of, of group chairman. This is where he used to live, and this is where he started Casapreco Company Limited. We currently use it for the production of concentrates for Casapreco Company Limited. Because it grew out of proportion, you know. We produce, and we are, we are loading on the streets, selling the sun and loading, you know. But fortunately for me, because of the generational thinking, I have already acquired a land as Pinterest Road, our current location, you know. So uh, at, a, at a point, we said, let's go and build a factory because you cannot be loading uh, inside the, uh, the sun. No. So that it's, really, it's really, you have to cooperate quickly with the tarpaulin. So that's where we, I went to Germany to also go and buy semi hand automatic machine lines. Uh, so right now, when we came to our new facility, yeah. we are no more doing manual washing again. And then we have trans transited from the uh, manual washing to, uh, to similar to machine. So I went to Germany to buy the used machinery from Germany. We did that for almost about maybe five years or more, you know. And then the Nigerians came in. The Nigerian head of the product, Alamobitas especially. Yeah. And then they started coming in, right? So I made a line. Now that the money was coming. Actually, so I wasn't using the money also, but because I was reinvesting the yeah. business. So I bought another under, line for Nigeria, and it could not even survive them. You know, they come and say, hey, 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 Oga, Oga, I've been here for two weeks. They don't load me. They don't load me. You know, so actually that prompted me eh, to go and buy a brand new line from Crohn's. You know, a brand new fast line from Crohn's at the point. Uh, one line was doing about 35,000 bottles per hour. Wow. And even the cruise book asked me, are you going to use it line for water or alcohol? It's alcohol. For Nigeria, it was, uh, it was booming in Nigeria. You know, they just were buying a lot. But, but how, how did the people got themselves acquainted with the machines? Did you train them yourself? We trained them. We trained them. In fact, there was a story that uh, the, the general was telling me that Ghanaians cannot put the machines. But they told me, point blank. You know, they told me that if you are buying that fast running machine and they're sending it to Africa, I should not buy it. They told me I should not, I should not buy it. They told me, they begged me, that like, we beg you, don't, don't buy it. Not an insult, but the Ghanaians cannot operate this machine. Now I told them that I'll buy the machines, and the Ghanaians will operate it. It's a challenge, you know, yeah. And then, but um, I sent the boys to Germany. Yeah. You know, before the machine came, they went and see the skeleton of the machine. They trained them, you know. 
and then they are trained them. Yeah, you can inside are doing it. Your company is actually the second in terms of taxpayers. Uh, I, think, I, I think when I was there, we had uh, not the chicken, we had uh, the highest indigenous taxpayer. Yeah. Yes, not the chicken, first. First. Yeah, I think three consecutive times from, our, uh, um, from the um, diary. You actually had an award from yeah, the taxpayers. Yeah, exactly, exactly, I, I went yes, to your yeah. office, I saw uh -huh, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, because for me, I don't have corners. That's something because I'm a straight shooter. No. I will not go and have a deal with any hospital officer at the, at the port or at my residence for the person to come and then I'm hardened. No. So I'll pay what I have to pay, right? That's it. As I, as I speak now, that's, that's my brand. So we don't see customer officers coming to look at our papers, no. Because mm -hmm. I'll pay. If you say we are a tax officer, we'll talk about audit. I say, okay, come, come on, come on, audit. Wow. You know, if you see anything, any, any fault, because I'm a company, it's company, right? It could be other from the accountant, but for me, I will not connive with my accountant to go and, 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 and the invoice or over invoice, I will never do it. I will do it, and once they got to know that I'm that yeah. type, I'm that type, they, they, they will not worry you again. Uh, because at that point, I had to go to GRE, uh, the commissioner. Yes, if you, if, you, if you disturb me, I'll go to him. Yeah. But when they know that, you could arrest my car and the, uh, the policeman, you know, try to, uh, if they try to know, try to portray you because you're doing the right thing, I go and report it to the GRE boss. And next time when they know that, oh, okay, this guy, he's straightforward, they don't, they don't, they don't disturb you. One of the things that you've done in this country, yeah, in Ghana, that nobody knows that you're the one behind it. I, I, this is, I know you don't like talking about this is this is for me. What are the things that you've done, apart from everybody know you to be Casa Preco? What are the things that you've done in the country oh, that nobody uh, knows uh, that you well, did? Well, it? well um, initially, yeah. Let's say I, I heard that uh, there's uh, somebody delivered at a hospital, hmm. you know, and then he's detained because he cannot pay the, the fee to, to be discharged. I just told my um, officer, 2,000 Ghana cities, uh, yeah, let's go and pay. You know, you go and pay, and then after the charge, the, the guy will tell me that uh, uh, the, the, the people want to come and thank me. I say, you know, I, I don't, don't need to be thanked. I don't need to be thanked, you know. So that sort of, if you have small money and you give some hours, and you, that, you, that will not let you, that will collapse you or collapse your company. Exactly. Why don't do it? That's why this place, this, this place, at a point, mm. I was taking care of everybody in this, uh, everybody who, uh, everybody who goes to the school. Everybody from this town had a special for me. Everybody. Wow. Yeah. Because I thought I, I could afford it. So why don't I give to somebody who can afford it? You know, but later on, even if I stopped because um, I wasn't getting the result that I wanted. Uh -huh. But you can ask from this, what, what are now is doing. Yeah. So free, free, free SHS. It started from me here. Not, not, just, not, not nationwide, <laughs> but this village. Wow. Uh -huh. Everybody was, was benefiting from me, you know. So uh, that's how come I was able to do the school. I have money. If I have money, I put it at the bank. You know, I call it dump money. You know, let your money talk. You know, at least adopt one boy. Adopt one girl. Right, yes. I am, I've been able to t t um, take over, look about some boys and girls yeah. that they are not part of my family. Hmm. You know, when they finish, I, I uh, look at, uh, for a job for them. You know, I, I did somewhere at Tech, somewhere at Legon, that I, they are not part of me at all. Once you are from this town, some of them even were, were, were living with me, you know, trying to help somebody. You know, so uh, that, 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 that's me. I feel like for you, charity is everything. Yeah, if I have the money, I have the money, why not? You know, so sometimes I don't let people know what, what I'm doing. Uh, there was a road in Accra, and the other bridge is Lagoon, coming to the Sprinters. Yeah. There was a time that I saw that um, the road was very poor, bad, not now, you know, the olden days. Uh, and then the shoulder, those who were going to Accra, this traffic was always there, because I also used to, to pass it good day before I come to work. There's this traffic. Those who are going to Accra should have walked on the shoulder to go to, go to Accra. Mm -hmm. Because they're they putting uh, co coconut hacks, right? And then when, when uh, it's rotted, right, it becomes like muddy. Nobody will, will go there. Yeah. 
So we're at a point I, I called my contractor, called Swan Contract, uh, Swan Contract, uh, Contraction Limited. So I said, Swan, let's go and buy uh, laterite. Mm. Go and clear the coconut house, pull laterite there, ramp it, and let, 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 let the car flow. He did it, and I didn't report it to any pressman. When he was doing it, I didn't inform anybody. And this man Swan is still there. You can, you can test to that, you know. So, so uh, not, not everything that you do that for publicity. Exactly. That's why, for me, I'm not a media person. Uh, I'm not a, I, I don't like the media, but sometimes you cannot hide. Because you've accepted me to interview you, uh -huh. yeah? I want to use my channel. We're going to raise money to build you the next quarters. It's a deal. <laughs> It's a deal. It's a deal. It's a deal. So now, 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 you are my son. Yeah. Oh, I'm not a son. Yeah. Uh -huh. You are my son. Uh -huh. uh, I'll, I'll, I'll do that because yes. I have been here and I've yes. seen that yes. you've done a lot yes. and you can't do everything by yourself. By yes. So yes. I wanna tell you that I'm gonna make that happen. I think in here the land is free, so I'm not gonna oh, yeah, buy no, land. No, 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 no. The land is free. You just need to start already, a structure. Already, you have the land there. Not so there how there. many, how many rooms do we need? Uh, uh, please, let's see, talk to the doctor, okay. uh, the person you went. Uh -huh. uh, yeah. Let's see, but at least there are about 30 personnel here. We're going to make that good, happen. Good, we're good, definitely going to make that good. happen. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll, I'll come back I, again. I'm very, very glad that we are doing this. No, we'll do it. Yes, yeah, sure. I sure, promise sure. you. Uh -huh. I, I'm not the son that speaks and doesn't, action exactly, doesn't yes. follow. A lot of friends have helped me. Mm. Yes. When I said I wanted a chair for the, for the clinic, somebody bought a chair. I think 13,000 can I see this. Wow. A friend of mine, Lebanese, sold a gun for the theater, you know, mm. uh, and I'm, I, I'm going to uh, put your pictures there. Friends of Buna Poly Polyclinic, yeah, I'm going to put the pictures there. So you should be the biggest one <laughs> there uh, on top of, of, of it, yeah. No, uh, um, I, I just want to know, yeah, this is a question coming from someone. He said, you, you are into beverages, yes. you transition into um, real estate. And then now you're into farming. Why real estate? You know, it's a movable properties. For me, growing up and in my business studies, mm. you know, the, the, something they call diversification, mm. right? Yes. So most people, most rich people, both. In, uh, overseas and here, yeah. they have a bit of real estate to their businesses. Mm. Uh -huh. So if one is down, one can be up. up. So as a business person, you call diversification. So you, uh, you don't do only one uh, one line of business. So we are into cartons, mm. we are into real estate, we are into beverage, and we are into farming. Uh, you know, that, that, so at least four uh, sectors that uh, we are there. I, I know that when it comes to the beverages, we have Casa Precon, which has presence in Accra, Kumasi too. But when it comes to the real estate, how many units have you built so far? We did a first one called Casa Global Estates, you know, about only about 30 units or less. And then we are doing our first commercial real estate. You know, commercial. Mm. The, other, the other two that I did was office buildings. Mm. But residential, it's about signature. Signature. Signature is one of our, our uh, that is our, that's my name because it's a signature. So, so it's, a, it's, a, it's a different um, design altogether. Okay. It's about almost 230 apartments. Why the name Signature? It's my signature. Because, because, because I give you a name. That's my signature. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And um, th I think this question will be maybe my last question. Um, as an, I know you're an industrialist, but right now all your company has been transferred to your children. This is something that a lot of industrialists fail to do. I mean, how did you transition the whole company from yourself to your children, because I can see when I came here, when you wake up in the morning, all you do is to just jog, yeah. walk around, and that's it. H how did you do that? You know, uh, it's about management. The coach, you know, have you seen a coach playing soccer? No. You sit on the touchline. Exactly. Right? If you, if you, if I show you my phone, right, yeah. they report to me. Right? Yeah. 
All I, I can show you, I don't know whether you have time. I'll show you one here that, you know, so whatever you do, uh, they're happening on at Casa mm -hmm. They report production, downtime, right? Yeah. And if I, f I have to talk, I talk. So it's about the management, you know, so we cannot take your eye off the ball, right? Yeah. So I'm um, the coach. My, my, the, the second generation knows that I'm watching them, you know, and then if I have to go there, I'll go there. But for now, because they're doing a very good job, I don't have to go there, but they know I'm watching them. So they, they, they report to me uh, whatever uh, they, 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 are, they are doing. Business is an ongoing thing. Very soon, I'll take my, 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 myself off. But right now, I'm nurturing them. So I'm nurturing them. One thing that you ask me, most, most Ghanaians, mm. I don't intend to you know, insult anybody, don't do it that they don't plan to transition. If you have a business mm. and your son is in America or in Britain or in Germany, mm. and you don't bring the person close, awesome. close to your business, right? And you die, and, bring, and your, son, your son comes in. He's a, he's a stranger in, in, your, in your field, right? Oh, you don't do that. You don't train the second generation. Just like sending um, the, 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 the farmer to go and read for you by day. You may brand cutlass. You cannot read. So sharpen uh, him. What we did, at a point in time, I had to bring in a family business consultant from America. Wow. Yes. He went to the Holiday Hotel about a week or so. My wife was there. All my children were there. He showed us what to do and what, 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 not what, what to do. And I also studied business, uh, family business in, uh, at Harvard Business School. And I sent my children to Switzerland, all of them, also to go to family business courses. You know, so you, you, you know that if you have my, my, my sibling, right, and that the issue in the business, when you close to the house, you, you don't, don't bring that one to the house. It's purely business, yes. you know, so that the family will not disintegrate. So there's business here, there's a family here. The family is very important. And business is also very, very important. So in our case, what we did was that, according to my, my studies, you send your next generation, you train them, nurture them, and send them out. Most people to take five years. You leave a family business, go and work for somebody for five years before you come back to get, you know, toughened up. Because parents have soft, 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 soft spots spot for their kids. So the professors, the professors are saying that let them go out, you know, to be drilled, then come back. It's a, it's a must. But so we train them outside and bring them back. So that's what we do. And make sure that the person that's like a baton, Make sure that the person we are giving your access to, or your sweat to, yeah. you keep it capable. Don't do it emotionally, because it's about first born. Yeah, first born, go and take the business and let your sisters support you. You sat down. For me, because of sibling rivalry, right? We all sat down and said, okay, now I want to step back. I want to step back. The five of you vote and select one person to take over Casa I'm not, I don't want to select. I know, I know what, what, whom do we choose. I, I know. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. For us, we are all good. We are all good. Yeah. But the person who did finance, who did finance at, um, as, as, his, as his masters, yeah. right? If he leads the company, that would be the best person for us. Who is that person? Theodore Richard. So I didn't choose Richard. Richard. No. It's the family, the siblings. The siblings. That's why they're still very close. But if I say it, Richard, you are the third born. Go and lead, the, go and head the, the company. So it's about psychology. Yeah. You, know, huh? you don't have to so, discriminate. So which means every um, child of yours have their own company that they run, right? For now, for now. For now. But you know what we do? We do family meetings almost every two months. We gather the table, conference table, 
Come with meetings. Yeah. So you bring your issue, I bring my issue, bring your issue, I will discuss it. Every two months, three months, again, you do family meeting in my house. I, I heard it. The children are there. They are all on the, on the, on the uh, conference table, listen to me. I address them and then, okay, what, what's your problem? What's your issue? What's your issue? That's, that's what we do. If you don't do that, right, you, you cannot work together. So that I said that you have to leave a very profitable company to the next generation. So you, you the second generation, also have to leave a very viable uh, company to the, the third generation. generation. So we train them. Right now, we are watching them. We are watching the, uh, the grandchildren. Uh -huh. For now, I can say that they are all intelligent. For now, they are all intelligent. Not but because I think the, 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 the um, cinema was about 12 years. Right. Very, very soon, they will join the family meetings. Wow. As you, 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 reach, you reach 15 years, you will you, 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 um, admit to the family meetings. So the one we are discussing, you, you know can also you. contribute. Uh -huh. And then they will, they will start going to work at 15 years. Not to go and work, right, but to go and experience it. That's how you build it organically, naturally. Uh -huh. That is it. You're building a generational wealth. Exactly, on, on, on the heart of the person, right? Not that you send the person to school and say, come. Let's understand what we are doing. Uh -huh. That's understand what we are doing. So by all means, you, you may think he's a bad person, but you are not training him. You are not coaching him. You are not mentoring him, you know, to take over from you. Yeah. But it takes, it takes time. Uh, and then when they come to, see, when the children also come to the business, you don't say you go and be the MD. No, 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 no. This Richard guy, who is MD at Casbreco, it was Dr. Kranji, who made him the MD. I wasn't going to make him the MD. Because he worked under Dr. Dr. Kranji, the, 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 the AD with my ears. And he said, Kabina, if you go and play at that person, under MD, he will resign. I work with Richard. I know what he can do. Though he's a young man, because he started also like on the, on the, on the field, right? Yeah. yeah. He worked with under somebody, become a prison manager, become blah, blah, blah. So let's, treat, let, let's put him there as the MD. At that time, I have already engaged an MD. <laughs> signed a contract with him. No. Come and then uh, be the MD. Dr. Kranji said, no, I will not agree. He was, he, he was the board chairman. So no, I won't agree. You know. So <laughs> the person said, you know what, if, I won't mention the name. Okay, if you say we are withdrawing my appointment, I want to come and work for you for free for two years. I said, MD of Casa Preco. That I said, no. no. You mean for 10 years for free, you want to accept it because we're going to use you because he's a, he's a, a public, he's a business consultant, yeah. you know, as a springboard to expand his horizon. Yeah. You know, I, I, I went to, I was, a, I was a MD for Casa Preco. So don't, don't do that. Let's use uh, Richard. Richard. He can do it. And then, that's uh, how Richard, uh, became. That's how Richard became the MD. Yes. Other than that, he came in as a floor member and he was going. He was going. No, I mean, it's, all, it's by virtue of promotion. That, that's he why finally uh, uh, he got there. there. What, what would be your message to young entrepreneurs? Um, for me, the same thing that I've been saying, the zeal, the zeal for success, right? And I said, if you're an entrepreneur, like championship, you know, if entrepreneur, nobody will sack you. Nobody can sack you. You know, because you don't go to work, nobody can say why didn't you go to work. So like a champion, you will fall, don't stay on the ground, rise. And also try to leave a legacy. Try like, it's very, very important. One, I say I say as an entrepreneur, you all speak one language. You have to you have to build prof profit. Don't consume all the profit. Reinvest some of the profits in your business, right? And then Challenge yourself. Discipline yourself. One, you are self-disciplined, the others will follow you. Because if you come to, with all due respect, if you come to business and you are befriending, uh, you befriend the girls, let's say you are threatening the girls in your company, if they have no respect for you, no. your company will collide by all means. Just like throwing the ball on the wall, it will come back to you. So it's self-discipline. It's very, very important. So for me, when I was there, if I say 8 o'clock, by 8 o'clock, I'm there. But what would tell you, come to work at 8.15. You come and meet me there. You know, yeah, this morning, see, when we were working, I don't know, I asked one girl, yeah. are you guys waking up? 
He said, no. Yeah. No, you can't wake up here at 6.15. No. Power our body up and you are a, 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 a helper. So once you know that I wake up at 6 o'clock, yes, and when yes. I see you sleeping, I'll question you. You not, you not uh, wake up at 6, 6, 6.15. You know, so self-discipline first before others will also follow you. So that, that respect, you know, uh, it's end, you know, uh, respect is end. You have to, if you have, uh, you respect yourself. Do you believe Africa is the future? That is what the world is saying. So they are saying Africa is the future. And they are coming in. They are coming. They are coming. So now the question is that if Africa is the future, which I believe so, right, and the foreigners are coming in, to grab it, right? What about you? We who are the indigenous? Do we wait? We wait for the foreigners to come and take it and give us a peanut, you know? So, so years back, during the slavery, mm. they were saying that the black are the hackers of wood and drawers of water. We will chop the wood for them and go and draw water for them, you know? So right now, you got you got our independence, yeah. but are we mentally independent? That's the question you have to ask yourself. But may I believe that it can be done? Because what one man has done, another man can do. Thank you very much.